Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I am going to be talking about or discussing in this video a very very interesting and relevant uh, topic. Um, of course there's a lot of biblical uh, relevance to this subject. Some people don't like to draw the connection but it is there. So in this video um, I'm going to share a clip with you uh, where this man on the screen uh, he is talking about what happened to his brother and his brother just so happens to be married to a white woman right uh, so when you hear this it's going to trip you out now for some of us it doesn't surprise us at all but for some of us we need these wake-up calls uh, constantly to remind us of who is who and what is what and the mindset that already exists in this country that's, that's existed for a very long time. I want you all to take a listen at this video and what this brother says. And of course, you know, I will be right back. White folks, y'all have the audacity. Quick little story time. So my brother, with his black ass and his white wife, got into a verbal altercation today. And um, he decided before things get a little bit too heated, I'm going to pick up a couple things and leave. So y'all, in the midst of him picking up a couple things and trying to leave, she called the cops and said he hit her. So let me describe my brother. My brother is like 6'2", 200 pounds, muscle. She's four foot, nothing, frail and pale. Now, if he had thumped her, she would have had a mark on her. But case closed, he did it. Enough said, he was arrested. He gets bonded out, X, Y, and Z. They get into another verbal altercation over the phone. He asked her why she did what she did. And this, I mean, this woman with her whole chest said, because you were getting out of line, I had to put you back in your place. You're going to ask me, well, Jay, what would you do? What would I do probably would be illegal. But the legal thing I would do, divorce. Uh, but, 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 oh, you don't want a divorce? Well, here's some advice. Go back to your massa boy, because she waiting on you. This is why I only date black. Good day. Okay, <laughs> that was tripped out if you ask me. Now, based on what this brother said, um, it really takes um, a lot for some people to realize that nothing has changed, or the more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, some of our people just don't understand history where I believe they are willfully ignorant of history. So his brother had to experience this thing right here uh, to where the woman that he decided he wanted to marry, that he found was worthy of his last name, I'm pretty sure entering into this, he didn't think that he would experience this right here. So what he said happened was tripped out to me, that they got into something verbal uh, but she decided to put a lie on his name, right? And uh, many of you know that what she did could have been his end too. Because once you get uh, the system involved in the way that she did, once you call the cops, that can go any of a number of different ways. And she was fully aware of that when she made the call, right? Right? And so making this call to say that he put his hands on her, that could have spelled deletion for him. But she didn't have enough love in her to even care about that. So it questions whether or not there was love at all. Now, he didn't say whether or not any children are involved, but even so, it doesn't even matter. As um, one video we recently shared where a group of uh, uh, young people uh, who have um, a white mom and a white, and I'm sorry, and a black dad, biracial, uh, they talked about how their mom and their dad really just had a skin fetish, but it had nothing to do with love with their union. Now, we're not saying that that is every situation, but if a woman would go to these lengths to call officers or police on her husband and lie about something, knowing that you can have him ended or deleted with your lie, you can't love that person, right? And for them to get into an altercation again, he wants to know why she did this. And her answer is, because I had to put you in your place. Now, what place might that be? 
Now, none of us are surprised that that was lingering and lurking about in her heart, but I bet it was more of a surprise to him because he was probably one of those uh, who, wanted pretend, who wanted to pretend like things that happened in the past didn't happen. He was probably one of those who was living in the land of make-believe who wanted to believe that he had nothing to fear but fear itself. Now it's unfortunate that some of our people have to go through these experiences and get that, that real life wake up call in order to understand things, how they work in this country. You see, there is an unrepentant nature that exists in this country. And our people are trying so hard to fit in and to be accepted by people who historically have told us time and time again that they can't stand us, right? And so you think that putting a ring on somebody's finger or getting a ring put on your finger, marching down the aisle and saying I do to people who have this historical, biblically prophesied dirta of us, spell it backwards y'all for those of you who don't know what dirta is. If you think that anything has changed within the heart, you're sadly mistaken. The Bible says that the heart is desperately wicked, desperately wicked. So I feel sorry for those who have to get the wake up call in this way because they choose to step out on blind, um, ignorant faith. And they learned the hard way that the love you thought was there never existed. And so this brother right here, he said this is why he chooses to, you know, he chooses to, to do what the Bible tells us to do. That within your own tribes is where you belong. Now some of our people, they have put that whole thought in the rear view mirror. They've created narratives that suit their own flesh because there's really like uh, some of the, um, Mixed race young lady said, there's a skin fetish. In many cases, not all, but in many cases, there is no love, it's just a skin fetish. And some of these dudes are finding that out the hard way. Some of these uh, so-called black women are finding this out the hard way. Now, when you look at the history of this country and how things uh, started out and how they continue on, is that a risk you want to take? Especially when we keep seeing and hearing stories like this to where the dirta is still deeply in, embedded in the heart, even when they say, I do. So I want you all to share your thoughts on this in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But I want you all to remember this. The things that we are talking about are biblical. There was a biblical prohibition for marrying outside of your tribe. It's there. Now you can create your own narrative and establish your own righteousness all you want to. But if you say you believe in the Bible, why don't you believe it when it says that? I'm done. Chop it up in the comment section. Keep it tight. Keep it right. As always, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.